Greetings and salutations. I'm back down the shed again, and this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm working on, uh, well, let's just call it a secret project at the moment. I love these little core claw machines. I want to put this into my next costume. The problem is, of course, these are a little bit long, as you can see. If I was going to hold these two, it's a little bit too long. So what I really, really need to do is to shorten them. Now, I've never shortened any of these before. So this is going to be a bit of an experiment. So when I'm going to cut to the close, I am going to start pulling this apart. But essentially, I need to remove this. Now, a couple things. I've already marked with a bit of white pen sure if you can see that I've made a mark around where these connected pieces go now this is going to become important because obviously I need to know how much I need to shorten this plus by marking these off I also know how far down essentially each side will go now I've got my white pen with me so I can make some notes on here once this is all apart I need to also note how long this is because that is essentially how much I'm gonna to have to shorten this rod so of course, you know, just looking at it, the construction is you've got to, this black part just holds everything together. So that should functionally have no real significance. I, just, I can shorten that down, but the important part is I need to shorten that rod down. So it gives me essentially the same amount of room here and I can still do that. Now it looks like I have to take apart this handle because I don't know what's inside, how it's inside there. I'm guessing it's just a simple bend that just hooks into there. That does that. Now I've got two of these. These were, I got these from Mad About Science, which is a science themed website that does like cool, fun little projects. To buy one of these in most places is like 20 bucks. I got both of these for, I think about eight bucks each. If you ever want to get one of these, I'll try and find the link and I'll post it below. But yeah, let's get cracking.
Okay, just a quick aside, and we've been joined by the pool pump. It's all apart. This poses, of course, an interesting dilemma, because as you can see, on the one side, there's all these holes here, and there's one side of the holes here. I mean, this is not unexpected, because you now, of course, you need to have some of these holes for the supports to go through. But as you can see, that hole is relatively, relatively big. I don't see too much of a problem there. I mean, once that's in, that's pretty much solidly in. So it just means that when I come to shortening this down, I'm just gonna make sure I put that hole in there, which I can start marking out now. So I knew they were gonna be overhang. I just didn't know how much overhang. But now I've got the lengths. All I need to do now is find out how much, set up the uh, bandsaw, cut it down for the bandsaw, put the, uh, I might put drill, pre-drill the hole though first because that will be a little bit easier. It, it just looks to me like they literally have, like the manufacturing wise, they literally just like have this pre-made and they'll just get the holes cut in, drill, 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 cut, drill, 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 cut, whatever. That shouldn't be too hard to modify that. You can even kind of see on there, the hole is just slightly off. So again, I'm not having to be too careful. I've got a big enough drill bit. I'll part hole it first and I'll step it up because I don't want it to splint or fracture. Although that being said, I mean, I've got plenty of material there and I've still got two of these. As I also pointed out, as I said, once I've got this internal measurement here, which uh, is 233 millimeters, all I need to do is measure 233 from that point there and that's where my bend mark is and I just like stick it in a vise, bend it over, cut that off. That should be perfect. And then all I need to do is yeah put it back into that and this is this is just held together by friction. It's not it's not even glued. Uh, that's the other thing. I was having a bit of trouble with this just because of how when I was pulling it off it was creating a pressure point there so I just had to kind of bend it out but yeah none of this stuff is glued it's all uh, screwed together. I'll work on this one Oh, that's the other cool thing I really like about this is that this front assembly, it didn't spring apart. That whole thing is one thing. I'm not having to worry about touching the gears or anything like that. I'm guessing screw also really helps just hold it all together. It's amazing how simplistic some of these machines can be. And this is why modifying them is relatively good. I can not worry too much about screwing this one up. And as I said, these are cheap enough that I can buy another couple. Push comes to shove, I screw up one, I can order another one and work on this one. So steps to take, mark this, I'm gonna set up the drill, drill it all out, then set up the bandsaw, cut it out, mark that down, bend it, cut the excess off, then reassemble. That's relatively easy. Now, as for this claw bit itself, I'm still deciding if I wanna keep it as this red claw, if I wanna repaint it, I'm thinking of maybe adding some attachments to it, maybe a bit of foam, maybe a bit of cardboard or something to broaden it out make it look more like a an actual kind of maybe like maybe hand like a hand thick claw as opposed to this uh really thin one i'm not going with um robbie the robot or um b5 was it b6 from lost in space not going for that kind of aesthetic so winding out those claws and just using this as the essentially as the the structure that's pretty small that's not really going to clasp too much unless i start modifying this and then modifying it means i'm going to change the structure and it's plastic so i'm probably just going to build something around it to beef it up a bit that's for a future build so let's see how we go with this
So yeah, they work. I'm really happy how those have turned out. That my theory worked, you know, uh, that you just need to shorten it down. The bend was in the handle, so it's just a very sturdy connection. This was a bit of a pain in the ass to break, but that's fine, I've done that. I've still got a lot of tubing left, but I can try and recycle this, obviously. I try and recycle as much as possible. Uh, so, I mean, all of this build took less than an hour and I, and I did both of them. I was only gonna do one. I thought, bugger it, I'll get them both done. And that's it, they still, they're still functioning. I gotta see what I wanna do about the ends of these. I mean, they're gonna be part of a costume. The robot arm is gonna probably be about here-ish. So I just slide them in and hold it in place and I can then twist it. So yeah, please uh, like, share, subscribe, all that other usual nonsense. Bell down below if you desperately want to see me on your news feeds, on your YouTubes. Uh, go like uh, the Facebook page, Fanboy Crossing the page. Give me feedback. Let me know what you thought of this simple build where, you know, have you any thoughts on how you would uh, modify this? I mean, again, you can don't have to shorten these down this long. I mean, theoretically, if you've got enough of that wiring, you can even extend them out. It's just a simple matter of finding the math and 
shortening and extending it however you want and of course there's the material you might need to uh buy something that's akin to this maybe get some poly pipe and you know cramp down the end or modify them something like that there's always ways to change some things i've got a vlog coming out in a couple of days i think it's failure is always an option that should be out maybe tuesday if you've got any ideas for techniques or anything you want me to explore or things you want me to explain comment below comment on the facebook page and don't get yourself caught up in the cabling of your microphone so apart from that thank you for watching and i'll see you next time